Hi, today I want to go over the eight fundamental crystals that everyone should have. And the reason I think it's important to have these eight crystals is that when I was first starting in this world, I wish someone would have given me this list that kind of outlines the broadest diverse energy in the least amount of crystals. And so after careful consideration, these are the eight that I think everyone should either start with, or if you do have them, have them in a collection because you're going to use them all the time. So my number one that I think everyone needs to have is Shungite. And the reason why is that in today's fast-paced world and how we live, we are around EMF energy all the time. So what is that? It's electromagnetic frequency. And this comes off our phones. It comes off our computers. It comes off modems. It comes off microwaves. It comes off pretty much everything. And every day we are being bombarded with EMFs. So shungite is something that helps to neutralize EMF energy. And what do you do? It's very simple. You put this next to anything that has EMFs coming out of it, such as the list that I just mentioned before. And what happens, it kind of puts an energetic barrier that helps to neutralize the wavelength and us as a um as a human. So it's a really important um, thing to have now, especially with 5G, you know, getting around on the planet. We as humans need a little bit of extra protection around us, and that's what Shungite is able to help neutralize. Next up is selenite, and I look at this as the purifier. It's just a beam of white light and energy, and this is literally something that I have almost in every room of my house. I, I can't even imagine not having it. Plus, I lay it on my body often. And what this does is it helps to clear your energy. It helps to clear your aura. And wherever it resides, it clears the space. So what happens is if you've been around a lot of people or you feel you picked up somebody else's energy, how do you get that off of you? All you do is use selenite and you could sweep your energy field. You could lay it on your chest. You can just breathe. But I'm going to tell you this. I've been using this for years. I can't imagine not using it. And once you try it and you feel the effects of it, you never go back because it's so good. Also, if you're having problems sleeping, it's a great thing to put in your bedroom or any room that you want to have be kind of clear and have an energy of just upliftedness. Selenite helps to raise the energy. And what I like to do is, I don't know if you guys ever do house cleaning or do you know, uh, go through your closets. Whenever I go through and I declutter, I always put a piece of selenite in its place. And that's sometimes even in my cabinets or whatever. And I use it as a reminder to stay simple, to keep clutter free, to purify my space and don't get congested because when my space gets congested, so does my head. And we all need to be as clear as possible. Selenite is an amazing purifier and it's a must have in your crystal energy chest. Pyrite is a money magnet and a confidence booster. I think that we all, no matter how abundant we all feel and how much we all want to acquire and attract money or abundance, there's always sometimes in our head a little thing called lack consciousness where we're like, Oh no, I don't know if I deserve that. That's never going to happen to me. And that negative mind. Pyrite is like, hey, stop. Don't do this. I look like gold. I am here to have you hold me in my, in my hand or have you look at me so that you remember that you can be golden. And so pyrite is this energy of just upliftment. It helps you to believe. It helps you to attract. And it helps you to visually see golden energy on what you want to attract. So this is an amazing stone for money and confidence. Amethyst was the very first crystal that attracted me to the crystal world. And it's interesting because when I ever ask people about what's the first stone that got them into crystals, most everybody says amethyst. And for me, I wonder, is it because we picked amethyst because it has this purple energy of like, you know, um, royalty or it thinks if, if spirituality or higher consciousness or elevated thinking had a color, might it be purple? So this is a stone that helps you to expand your mind. 
It helps you to get tuned into your intuition. And for many of us, that's like our gut feeling. It's like when you meet someone for the first time and you're like, oh, I love that person or gosh, I don't know. I, I, I feel a little off or you're trusting yourself. So I look at amethyst as a very important stone because it teaches us to listen to those little voices of intuition that go off in a gut feeling that says, hey, trust that inner knowing. And that's one of the big things about working with crystals is that you begin to trust that inner knowing and that gut feeling and you go with it. And it takes time, but amethyst helps us to learn it. And also what I love about amethyst is that you'll find, as with selenite, no matter whatever room amethyst is in, it has this sparkle to it. It has this light to it. And it really is an uh, uplifting stone. And it kind of feels like you're in an elevator and you rise up in the energy that wherever it resides, whether it's on your body or you're holding it or in your environment, you will feel that the energy is rising. So this is the aragonite, and it's super um, important when you start working with crystals because with crystals, things start moving really quick and a lot of good things happen. But then at the same time, there's a lot of things that happen that shift and transform within you. And I found for me is that I would sometimes get stuck. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but like you're making this forward momentum and then all of a sudden everything kind of gets really still. And this stone, Argonite, and it kind of looks like expansion. It helps you to have a breakthrough. It helps you to bust through whatever thoughts, limitations, belief systems, whatever is holding you back from moving forward. This is a stone that helps you to keep your momentum strong. It helps you to not see an obstacle and stop. It helps you to think of other perspectives of how you could go above, over, around, so that you can stay moving forward, learning your lessons, but not getting stuck in an area where you feel that you just are plateauing. And sometimes we need a little help. And this crystal for me has been that. And the reason I like it is it shows you exactly what to do. When you're stuck, look at something in a new way. You have the tools within you. Tap within, be still, breathe, and move forward because you can have a breakthrough. Okay, so this is black tourmaline. And I look at this as the energetic bodyguard. I have a piece in my car. I have a piece at my front door. If I'm going into an area where there's going to be tons of people and I feel like I need an energetic bodyguard, I will put this in my pocket. I will put it in my bra. I will put it in my pants. I will even wear a necklace of it because I want that extra shield of protection. When you are looking for protection in any area of your life, this is really a, the go-to stone. It's black tourmaline. I've used it for years. I will continue to always have it. And there's certain times that I will even put it in my bedroom if I feel like it's getting heavy and I want to absorb negativity or absorb any kind of energy that feels really dense. This is a stone of protection. Rose quartz is the love magnet. And it, it works in love on all different areas. Number one, how you love yourself, how you talk to yourself. But if you're interested in attracting a relationship, rose quartz is an amazing stone. If you want to strengthen a current relationship, rose quartz is your stone. But if you want to get out of your head and start coming from your heart, opening your heart, and what does that mean? Forgiveness, letting go, negative self-talk. Because what happens is, is when we love ourselves and we're, we, we live from here, our life changes, our relationships changes, not only to ourselves, but to others. Rose quartz is an unconditional love stone. It, it's almost like you're giving yourself a hug daily of just pure love. And who doesn't need that on a daily basis? So rose quartz is the number one love, love stone that everyone must have a piece of. Clear quartz is a very, very powerful crystal. And it's powerful in the fact that when you have clarity 
and you know what you want and you know what you want to create and you want to know how to go to the next level in your life and how to manifest your dreams, clear quartz is that crystal. Because the more clear you are, the more crystal clear you are, the more focused, laser focused, and you know where you want to go, you will manifest at a much faster speed. So get clear with quartz crystal. This is the stone to manifest what you want. So now you know the eight crystals, and I'd love to know your experience with them and what changes happened, what shifted, what manifested. Please share your stories with us today.